Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fresh Bottle Friday where we are going to be Fresh Bottle popping this Bell Mead Reserve. 108.3 proof. It used to be called Bell Mead Cask Strength. I think they changed to a consistent proof point to just keep it more consistent with their releases. Consistency is the key. And it's been sitting on our shelf for far a, too long, for really. For a while. I yeah. Mean, over a year, actually. It kind of got pushed to the back of the shelf by accident. Well, we're going to rectify that situation today. Bell Mead, 108.3. Decent pop there. On that radio station, 108.3. <laughs> Greenbrier Distillery in uh, Tennessee, but it is MGP Distillate. Tennessee whiskey, but not Tennessee whiskey because it's Indiana. A bit traditional, I believe, would be the terminology I'm looking for. Kind of that corn forward, yeah. earthy thing going on. A little bit of like that cream and vanilla. Yeah, there's some fruit in there, maybe a little sour apple. Similar to like a smoke wagon straight bourbon. There's somewhat of a kick to it. I mean, as it should be at 108.3. <laughs> Not a like super burly proof, but definitely is going to show itself, I think, in the taste, as, as it is in the nose. I don't know, I've heard great things about Bell Mead. I believe Christopher from Two Guys Drinking Whiskey Podcast said this would be like his house wine, so to speak. Like, he'd like to have bottles of this on hand to pour for guests whenever they come over. So not quite like a daily drinker, but something that, like, you break out when people come over. Exactly, of course. yeah. Put a bottle out on the table, everybody take a pour. I just got a text from Independent Joe. Him and his son, waiting on Slipknot. Oh, nice. Independent Joe. Follow him if you're not. Caramel, vanilla, with a little bit of a green apple tinge in there. Yep. Similar to a smoke wagon, not as heavy on the apple, though, I feel like. I agree wholeheartedly with that statement. Let's clink them and drink them. Christopher's pouring himself some good house wine. Yeah. Caramel apples. Kind of on the sweet side, actually, which yep. surprises me. I thought it was going to be a bit more bitter. This is very smooth, drinkable, sweet, carameled yeah. apple. Nice warm hug. We've had some other pours tonight in filming. We did them in progressive proof order for the most part. And you can feel the proof on this one. Yeah. That being said, it's not, like, aggressively proofy. No. I feel like when I first put it in, it was, like, proof, and then it just smoothed out, sweet, nice, and then just hugged you on the back. I don't know if this is one you need to mix with anything. But in that house wine thing, if you have people that would prefer to drink on the rocks, it's going to stand up. Yeah. Pretty thick mouthfeel. Sweet. Sweet for days, really. I've heard a lot of hype on Bell Mead, and I gotta say, like, I think it kind of lives up to the hype. I could see myself either exploring the catalog a bit or buying this one again, and I don't think I would regret that. I would definitely buy this again. I think overall, very solid pickup. So that is Bell Mead, formerly Cast Strength, now 108.3. Have you had this? Have you had the former Cast Strength offering? Let us know which one you prefer. If you've had both of them also have you tried any of the other finished bell meads like which are the ones we should be looking for because we're very interested after finally opening this bottle after like a year yeah got lost in the shuffle and it should not have because uh, it's great it's i really cool. like it if you haven't yet hit the like button down below the video that helps us out a ton hit subscribe on the channel so you'll be up to date on what we're doing whether it be videos like this live streams or our regular wednesday videos from the western wisconsin whiskey emporium for ladies and gentlemen thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week